I'm Julie McDonald. These are the headlines from Al Jazeera. Egypt's opposition is calling for mass street protests on Tuesday. At a news conference, parties from the National Salvation Front said they reject a December the 15th referendum on a new constitution, claiming that it doesn't represent the Egyptian people. The opposition also praised the judiciary. Rory Shallans is in Cairo for us. The praise of the judges there is largely, I think, a warning to the judges because what we're hearing is that those judges who've been on strike for quite some time are saying that in annulling uh, the constitutional decrees that Mohamed Morsi made on the 22nd of November, uh, they are broadly satisfied now and they, I think, are going to announce tomorrow that they're going to be going back to work. So in praising the judges so much uh, in this press conference, the opposition is essentially saying, hey guys, you're supposed to be on our side and you're supposed to be with us on this. Please don't go back to work. That's something that's quite interesting that's come out of this. The Arab League has pledged $100 million a month in financial aid to the Palestinian Authority. The announcement was made at a meeting of foreign ministers and Palestinian representatives in Doha. Israel has stopped transferring the tax revenues it collects on behalf of the Palestinians after their successful bid for upgraded membership at the UN. And in Ghana, police have fired tear gas to disperse opposition supporters protesting against alleged fraud in the country's presidential election. The National Patriotic Party called for the results of Friday's presidential vote to be delayed after initial results showed a tight race. Don't forget, you can watch Al Jazeera online. Head to our website, aljazeera.com, and click on the Watch Now icon. Those are the headlines on Al Jazeera. I'm Julie McDonald. That's it. Bye-bye.